This tutorial first looks at why it is that equal concentrations of weak and strong acid may give different rates of reactions but lead to similar volumes of products of gases. It then looks at why the conductivity of strong acids and weak acids differs and finally looks at the similarity in the electrolysis of a strong acid and a weak acid. First though, why is it that the volume of gaseous products of a reaction with an acid is determined by the amount of reactants present and not by whether you're using a strong or a weak acid? Here we've got two experiments set up. In each case an excess of magnesium, one of the reactants, and in each case an acid. On the left we have a strong acid, hydrochloric acid, on the right ethanoic acid, which is a weak acid. As you can see, we've got the same volume of the same concentration of each acid. It's clear that the reaction on the left hand side with the strong acid is much faster, the bubbles of hydrogen being produced more quickly and that's what we'd expect. But which one will create ultimately the greater volume of hydrogen gas? Well actually they'll create the same volume of hydrogen gas because we're using the same volume of the same concentration of each of the acids. The explanation becomes more obvious when we look at the equations. When we look at the formulas of each of the acids, we see that both HCl and CH3COOH each release 1H plus per molecule of the acid. And we need 2 moles of the acid in each case to make a mole of hydrogen gas. So the volume of hydrogen gas is entirely related to the number of moles of acid that we use. And in each case, we're using the same number of moles of acid. We're using 100 cubic centimetres of a 1 mole per cubic decimetre solution. In other words, 0.1 of a mole of each. So from 0.1 of a mole of each of those acids, then we would produce the same 0.1 of a mole of hydrogen, or 2.4 cubic decimetres. So even though the reactions will occur at different rates, the eventual volume of hydrogen will be the same in each case because it's determined by the amount of reactants present, not the acid strength. This diagram uh, represents that. We can see that even though the strong hydrochloric acid is having a very fast rate of reaction, the weak ethanoic acid with a slower rate of reaction and giving us a lower volume of gas at any particular time, still reacts to give us exactly the same volume of hydrogen ultimately. Next we look at the solutions of weak and strong acids and see how they vary in conductivity and explain that and also explain what happens when electric current is passed through each of them by electrolysis. When we look at the conductivity of a strong acid such as hydrochloric acid and a weak acid such as ethanoic acid, even though they are the same concentration the conductivity of the weak acid is very much less and this is because there are very much fewer hydrogen ions available to move and conduct the charge. This is because strong acids on the one hand ionize completely and make lots of iron to carry charge whereas weak acids reach equilibrium and make very few ions, particularly hydrogen ions and this causes a much lower conductivity of the acid. Now moving on to the electrolysis of each of these acids, if we start with hydrochloric acid, then hydrochloric acid contains H plus and Cl minus ions from the hydrochloric acid and H plus and OH minus ions in the water. It's the H plus ions from the acid and the OH minus ions from the water which get involved in electrolysis. So at the cathode, what we get is hydrogen gas made and at the anode, we get oxygen gas made. However, we get exactly the same equations for dilute ethanoic acid because it's the H plus ions in the ethanoic acid and the OH minus ions from the water which again get involved in electrolysis. Here's a past exam question. Ellen also investigates the electrolysis of the two acids. Look at the apparatus she uses. She electrolyzes dilute ethanoic acid and then dilute hydrochloric acid and she uses the same concentration of both acids. She finds the light bulb glows much more brightly with the dilute hydrochloric acid. Explain why using ideas about ions. Well this is because the 
hydrochloric acid has a greater number of H plus ions in solution. And the answer so that there are more ions with hydrochloric acid or there's a greater concentration of ions with hydrochloric acid um, or any kind of reverse answer.